James Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society and Studio Daily at uh, NAB 2009. We're here in the ARI booth. We're with Bill Lovell and he's going to tell us what's new with their digital cinema cameras. We have a D21 here and what's, what's new on this, Bill? Well, James, the, the camera is not new. Obviously, we introduced that at NAB last year, but we've got some new features to, uh, that we've added since then, in particular the anamorphic functionality of the camera. With the 4x3 sensor, of course, the camera can use regular 2 to 1 squeeze anamorphic lenses, exactly the same lenses that would be used for cinemascope shooting on film. But we've added a new mode to, to enable that, uh, which we call M-scope. And M-scope enables you to record to a twin HD recorder such as the SRW1 with the 2 to 1 squeeze image, which is a very neat function. Um, we're also showing here the new recorder from S2. It's not an ARRI product but we think this OB-1 recorder, which is capable of recording ARRI RAW and all the various HD formats, including M-Scope, will be a, a really key addition to the camera because it gives us full functionality onboard recording for the first time. Uncompressed. Uncompressed, absolutely. Um, of course, the camera's got its optical viewfinder, key, key feature that's been right from the very beginning with the D21, and it's, it's now the only digital camera available with an optical viewfinder and a 4x3 sensor and the mirror shutter, so it's really becoming unique in more ways than we maybe ever imagined. And I understand you have a new HD tap for your film cameras. We do indeed. Um, I haven't got around to fitting it to a D21 yet, although that's an interesting idea and we might well do it. It's because we can, but the, uh, the Aricam ST over here is showing the HD IVS, as we call it, integrated video system. Um, and one of the very clever things about the HD IVS is that, of course, once you have HD resolution in your IVS system, then re-photographing the ground glass is a really bit of an issue because the texture of the ground glass shows up in the image in a way that it never really did in SD. So the HD IVS includes the facility for an actual cancellation of the ground glass texture by storing a frame of a plain white sheet shot with, with the IVS. It's then subtracted from the image, so you get beautifully clean HD images. Not as good as out of a D21, of course, but really a, a huge step up on what we've been used to in the field in, in the past. That's very good. Well, thank you, Bill. Very welcome.